the person who's been doing the Lord's work, as a matter of fact, is not Tucky Boy. It's actually Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity is is pissed. He's pissed. He's royally pissed. He's like Hannity hot seat time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch. Here is Sean Hannity giving it to Lobo a little bit. Lauren Boebert. Hi, time now tonight for the Hannity Hot Seat, and tonight we're joined by a Republican who opposed Kevin McCarthy's bid for speaker on every single ballot. That is Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, and she says negotiations with McCarthy. Why wouldn't the progressive wing just do this to secure more committee positions in the same situation? I would hope the progressive wing would fight it. That's really interesting you said that because the progressive wing did get committee positions. You're describing what AOC should have done while simultaneously living in a world where AOC did do that before even holding out the vote. They literally did that. They did. They got a fuck... That's why Ilhan Omar was on the fucking Foreign Policy Committee, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, why would Ilhan Omar, a person who is like fundamentally against the military-industrial complex, sit on any matters involved with foreign policy? Sit on a committee that touches foreign policy. They did. They, as, as young as they are, as new as they are, they one million percent got a fuckload of uh, uh, committee positions. They did. It was just dealt with. You never told that chatter, so they didn't know. No, I did. I've talked about this before during the force to vote saga. The force to vote saga was not about like holding out so you can get committee positions. The force to vote saga was about like uh, forcing the vote, literally, the, for Medicare for all, so that it could be fucking eviscerated by the Democratic Party have been ongoing since the summer, but that her demands are not being taken seriously. Now, meanwhile, Kevin McCarthy's camp is now reportedly trying to determine which of the 20 votes against him are because of a... As if the committee makes a difference to the MIC. It doesn't. You're absolutely correct on that. You're, you're right. You're right on that. Tackling America's foreign policy or its military-industrial complex is literally, like, the most difficult part of this process. I would say that America... OK, as a as an institution, as an organization, as a country is more likely to get fucking socialized medicine than destroy the engine that fuels capitalism, global capitalism, which is American imperialism, which is the military industrial complex. So, yes, I think that and I and I believe that it's insanely difficult to even get Medicare for all. OK, I think it's insanely difficult to get Medicare for all even. So that is even harder than that policy disagreement versus a personal vendetta here now with reaction is congresswoman bobert now congresswoman let me let me you tweet a uh, town hall quote this is great today saying the president you, you said complimentary things about president trump needs to tell kevin mccarthy that sir you do not have the votes it's time to withdraw let me turn the tables congresswoman kevin mccarthy has 202 three votes your side has 20 so if I'm going to use your words and your methodology and your math, uh, isn't it time for you to pack it in and your side to pack it in, considering he has over 200 and you have 20? Sean, I understand the frustration. I promise you, but I'm not um, frustrated. You didn't not answer my question. And we are hearing. I'm not mad. I'm, not, fr I'm, I'm not mad. Don't put it in the news. Don't write it in the newspaper that I'm mad. I'm not mad. Even though he does fucking own her a little bit, which is pretty fun. I mean, he's right. He's right. Lobo is also, you know, low-hanging fruit. Like, she's not even able to fucking... God, she's not able to defend her positions, which is pretty funny because it's like, they have no positions. They have nothing. Which is why it's kind of funny to watch them. Which is kind of, It's funny to watch the Republican Party and the machine, the Republican Party machine, crumbling in and of itself as they fucking freak out that, like, the guys that they put into positions of power because they went too far fucking to the right are literally just saying, no, we're going to do more Republican shit. This is what I'm supposed to do. I learned it from you, Dad. I learned it from you. My job is to obstruct, so now I'm obstructing. And they're like, hold on. That's not how you're supposed to obstruct. They love obstructing so much, they are obstructing themselves. Why are they holding up the vote? There is literally, I, look, I tell you when I know things. I tell you what my speculations are. I unironically cannot comprehend why they're doing this. Because ultimately... Okay, it doesn't matter who the speaker is. Do you understand? It, it doesn't make sense. They, when you ask them personally why they're doing it, their answers are fucking psychotic. Their answers literally are like, we want the American debt to default. Like, what? 
What are you saying right now? That's insane. We want bedlam and chaos? That's psychotic. That's just like an insane thing. Honestly, it's because they just personally probably don't like Kevin McCarthy. And that's it. It's got to be like a personal vendetta. Because like they literally... Because Kevin McCarthy is a, a cuck, okay? And he has personally given like a lot of concessions already. And the more concessions they get... And I can't believe I'm saying this again. But like Jesse Waters said it perfectly. Um, but the more concessions they get, the more they want. Because it's not about concessions. It's just they don't want Kevin McCarthy to be the Speaker of the House. And I think it's motivated by personal vendetta for the most part. Now, what's funny about this entire process, ultimately, is just like Jesse Waters said, and I'm using his fucking awful uh, person. I'm using this awful person because his analogy is correct. This is a hostage situation. And the demands of the hostage holders is to kill the hostage. So you're in a bind. Like, you can't actually fix it. He's right. And um, friend of the show, Jamel Bowie, says, at this point, if you're a never Kevin type, why would you ever stop? You're getting tons of media attention and you get to humiliate an enemy again and again. What more could you want? Also, never Kevin sounds like what you say after someone says to you that we need to talk about Kevin. Anyway, there's not a single thing to incentivize governing for congressional Republicans and many things that incentivize chaos, including the fact that Kevin McCarthy will do anything just to make it stop. Yeah, it's it. That's it. That's, that's, it's pure spite. It's pure spite. It's, it's pure spite. And it is the way that the Republican party has built itself over the course of the past couple of years where especially like accelerated in the past, like I, in the past, I would say, oh God, is it effing again? Please stop. Don't, 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 don't say that. Just don't. Anyway, we're going to continue. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm just going to fucking continue. Yeah, it's like if you watch on your TVs, you can watch me, but like on your PlayStation 5 or on your mobile apps, you can't sometimes. It's weird. Or on desktop, you can't sometimes. It's weird. All right, let's just continue. Many people who are still voting with Kevin McCarthy who are very supportive of what we're doing and they're cheering us on. So there are more for us than are against us and they are waiting for Kevin to cave. Okay. Um, you know, the American people are certainly frustrated by... I'm frustrated by you not answering a direct question. You said to President Trump, you got you him. Said earlier today that President okay. Trump needs to tell Kevin, Kevin McCarthy, McCarthy not have you don't the have the we votes. Need to come up Hold with a Can I finish? Candidate to elect a Can I finish? Of the House. You don't have the votes, and it's time to withdraw. He has two hundred and three. Your side has twenty. Why is it time for him to withdraw and not you when he has so many more votes? Well, Sean, he needs 218, and he does not have 218. We've been trying Neither to work this you. out in private, as you said, for months. But Kevin McCarthy didn't even want to listen to us until his disappointing midterms. We all want a unified party. But this isn't chaos. It's a functioning constitutional republic. When everything is said and done, okay, I like uh, the House show. Republicans will be stronger and better prepared to lead than we ever have before. I believe that this read? is what our founding fathers intended, and okay. this is showing Yesterday that you our our votes are working. Our votes aren't just an, uh, a cast. Congresswoman, to I'd ask you not to filibuster. Yesterday you voted, <laughs> and Jim Jordan was your choice. Uh, today it was Byron Donalds who was your choice. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know who you're going to vote for. But the bottom line is you still only have 20 votes. Let me ask you this. Kevin McCarthy. I think we're proving put, that we're open to me, a menu of options. Many you're different you're people proving that 20 speaker. people There's don't. No yeah. Uh, he, Sean Hannity here actually brings up a really good point okay i watched this and i could not believe it where he is going to turn around and ask a very good question right here don't want kevin mccarthy man. at this time but my question to you is we this we're proving that there are many options my question to you is did you support kevin mccarthy's commitments to america and do you Th this is not the question the, the this is sorry this is just like him basically pandering saying like oh do you care about kevin mccarthy's policies like why are you against america or whatever right like which is basic stuff do let her not cook believe that he's going to follow through on his written promises not this part here it's coming up after this his commitment to america is not as, as strong as i would like it to be and we have been working on the rules to change it's like what are you saying like what do you mean kevin mccarthy's commitment to america is not as strong as i want it to be so what is it what what's your commitment to america like, I can't, I'm not even defending Kevin McCarthy, like, fuck Kevin McCarthy, but, like, also, the fuck do you mean? You guys are the same. Like, you guys are the same pieces of shit, straight up. 
What, what, are you, what are you talking about? The structure of how Washington, D.C. Is, is run and operated. Sean, you know more than anybody how broken this town is. This is something that we have an opportunity to rebuild, to restructure. Congresswoman, and it takes he, the right he tools and the right leadership to do that. Border security, energy independence, debt reduction, And when earmarks, we asked him to put forward oh, the Texas-built okay. border plan, he and refused. Then, and then, well, he's willing to bring back the, the exact plan that worked under Donald Trump. And then he also has pledged investigations into the FBI and DOJ, the influence peddling of the Biden family, the origins of COVID and Anthony Fauci, the withdrawal and we from Afghanistan. All of My that question with the is... Right speaker. Do you support? And it's not going all, to be Kevin McCarthy. Do you support all of those agenda items he promised? Of course I do, but I do not trust Kevin McCarthy at this point to deliver on those promises, especially when I go into good faith negotiations with him, and then he comes out and lies about what those conversations were, um, saying that members demanded. Okay, that's a, your characterization. A He's not here to we answer. Want so let well, me ask fine. you this. He's you, already apologized you and others... to one member in private because he won't po apologize to him in public for spreading okay. lies. Wait a minute. Walgreens executive says maybe we cried too much last year about theft? Stop. Where are all the Redditors now? Where are all the people that fucking screamed at me because they were like, Hassan, you're just pro-theft. You're pro-theft. You're a piece of shit. When I said they're just lying. They're lying uh, and greatly overstating the concerns they have over retail theft. Hmm. That's crazy. That's so interesting. Is that another fucking precog, pre-watch Piker moment? Hmm. Hmm. Shocked. Shocked to fucking find out. Shocked. The company made investments in the private security guards, but they've proven largely ineffective, Kehoe said. Maybe we cried too much last year, Chief Financial Officer James Kehoe said. Walgreens acknowledged it may have overblown concerns about theft in their stores after shrinkage stabilized over the past year. The top Walgreens executive on Thursday acknowledged the company may have overblown concerns about thefts in their stores after shrinkage stabilized over the last year. During an earnings call, the company's chief financial officer, James Kehoe, said shrinkage was about 3.5% of sales last year, but that number is now closer to the mid-twos. He also said the company would consider moving away from hiring private security guards. Maybe we cried too much last year, Kehoe said. We've stabilized, he added, saying the company is quite happy with where we are. Shrinkage is the difference between a company's recorded inventory on their balance sheet and its actual inventory. It primarily accounts for items that were shoplifted, but also includes inventory that was damaged, lost, or stolen by employees. Over the last two years, Walgreens has been raising the alarm about increased theft. As a result, it hired private security guards and locked up merchandise so it can't be accessed without a store associate. Shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Anyway, let's get back to the fucking Sean Hannity evisceration. I'm sorry that I skipped through to that uh, moment of left leftist gloating, as always. Guys, about that meeting. Here's my question. So you and others fought hard for a motion to vacate with only five Republicans able to trigger that, that, that motion. Uh, Kevin McCarthy mm -hmm. didn't want to give it to you, but he did give it to you in the end. To me, that's kind of an insurance so, Sean, policy. I can I but finish? But he didn't all the way. He did Wait not. Wait a minute. Sure. He, he gave you what you asked for. And one of the things that I've been not. asking people, I'm asking you tonight, who is your final choice for speaker? And if you can't get more than, let's this say. This is the great question. This is the great question here. This is actually the, this is like, this is like surprisingly solid reporting. Who is your final choice for speaker? They will never do this for anything meaningful, okay? Journalists will never do this for anything meaningful. They will only do this because Sean Hannity is upset currently. Speaker, and if you can't get more than, let's say, 30 votes, will you follow your own advice uh, that you were asking Donald Trump and withdraw? There are certainly names that are be being floated around, and hey, maybe I should nominate President Donald J. Trump tomorrow. But Sean, I, I did watch your show last night. Is this a game night, show? Like we're going to pick on this motion. <laughs> did, we're going to no, 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 pick no, Jim no. Jordan Listen, one day, I, I Donald the, the other day, Trump the next on day. This motion to vacate because he did not give us this motion to vacate. I'm showing there's a a, a whole consensus of other candidates. But I'm, that not, be I'm trying to understand but how you're thinking here. This motion to vacate, Sean, you need to understand that that Kevin McCarthy did not give us my hard red line. He fought and for this it. is a century old, a centuries. No, he did not. 
No, this is he, a well, I know old that he rule made the promise. That was promise. written by Thomas Jefferson. And I know every he speaker, made the promise since because 1837, with five members, Sean, with five members, not That's one right, member five. to offer the okay. motion to vacate. So and my question is: There's uh, who wrote this rule? She said 1837. So here's what I don't understand. Okay, like Thomas Jefferson died in 1826. Let's say, let's say that's your talking point, which is like, this has been a rule in place since like 1837. Like, what are you fucking lying about? Like, what, what, did you not do any kind of research to like cook up a good enough fucking counter to, to this shit? Like you've been on, you're, even if you're doing this specifically for TV slots, okay, you're doing this to like build your own you know, brand as like a truth-telling, bold Republican patriot who's going against the institutional powers, right? You had a month to cook up good-ass fucking talking points. Why are you winging it? It doesn't make sense. Why? Why? Like, especially someone like Lobo, who is literally fucking so stupid. Like, she's not smart. She is not smart at all. I don't understand how you, I guess she like misspoke. And we're not even talking about why we should be listening to fucking slavers. But also, I don't, we're not even talking about whether or not like being able to, to, you know, vote out a speaker of the House of Representatives with five votes is a bad thing or not. Cause like it kind of isn't the worst thing. I don't really give a shit. Like I, I, I want to agree with some of these demands. If you're if you're going to set term limits, love that. That's perfect. It's not going to happen. This is not the this is not the best way to do it. But like it does give each individual representative more power. But like even when I'm supposed to be fucking agreeing with this person, okay? Because of like the things that they're supposedly advocating for, I can't and it's not because like I you know, it's not because like, oh, I'm too caught up on the fucking aesthetics or whatever. It's like, dude, you, you don't, one, you don't give a shit. And two, that's not the reason. That's not the reason why you're actually fucking uh, causing a commotion. And three, you didn't even fucking research what you said. What is this? Nancy Pelosi's. Term limit increase regulatory capture. Oh my God. I've heard all the fucking, I have heard all the fucking lobbyist jargon on this. Okay. You are unironically advocating for lobbyist shit. Listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. I get it. You're going to say because of term limits, if you, if you put term limits here, I know. I know what the steel man is. Term limits ultimately are, are uh, something that lobbyists definitely want because like that way, when you have fresh congresspersons, they don't know how to read the legislation and therefore they will be over-reliant on, uh, you know, lobbyists as a matter of fact. Like, get the fuck out of here. No, they craft those relationships through fucking, no, no, no. They craft those relationships through years and years and years of work. That's precisely the reason why green congressmen are unironically, oftentimes, way better with the exceptions of like Kirsten Cinema and shit than old institutionalized geriatric pieces of shit what you think you really gonna tell me that diane feinstein is a better legislator because she's been around since like you know the the since writing was invented since the beginning of history is that was that what you're unironically saying no lobbyists craft the legislation for old fucks just as well as they would try to craft it for young fucks the point is they want to save their fucking seats and they want to max out on their fucking wealth. She was there when they made the Rosetta Stone. Exactly. I mean, Diane Feinstein is literally older than the invention of toasted white bread, okay? Sliced white bread as toast is unironically younger than Diane Feinstein, bro. That's like not even a joke. That's not even a joke. Think about that. <laughs> Feinstein was around when Jefferson wrote whatever the fuck Bobert is lying about. <laughs> yeah. You haven't Precedence. answered my question. So if you have 
You cannot yesterday you supported, more responsibility yesterday you supported and Jordan. Want less Today you're supporting Sean. Donald. That's not the way this Donald's. works. We need a check and a balance on the third in line. Who to is the your fight? Let's Look, have Sean, a final answer. I want Who unity. do you want to well, be Speaker you know, maybe of the that's House? For the conference to decide. We need to come together. Who do you want? To, I'm asking is. who you want. What does it look like? Life after Kevin. We need I would to like find to somebody know. who can actually uni unify the Republican Party. I have offered. I, I would like to know. Let some other folks start offering. There are two hundred. Hundred and three people, point. and you have 20. I respect the 20 of you. I respect all of you. But I'm asking you, based Thank on you, your Sean, own words, you as well. who is your final? Let's have a final answer. Who do you want? Who will you only support to be speaker? That's not that hard. I am willing to have conversations with the Republican conference to come up with a consensus candidate. We are offering people right now. It doesn't have to be a member of the Freedom Caucus. It doesn't even have to be a solid half, conservative. Way, more, but we have to have those the Freedom tools Caucus in place. supports McCarthy. So we you have don't have, have you don't even have a name. Because there, and we're now going into day three. Afraid. I hate this. I hate when it. You are threatened I hate it so much. By committee chairs of the Freedom Caucus, it doesn't even have to be a solid half, conservative. Way, more, but we have to have those the Freedom tools Caucus in place. supports McCarthy. So we you have don't have, have you don't even have a name. Because there, and we're now going into day who three. Are afraid when you are threatened by committee chairman oh, to gosh. not be placed by steering member. Right, let me ask uh, a final question. If your final, if your final to candidate on a committee, and then Kevin McCarthy affirms that, that's a scary place to be. We are here to legislate. We are here to get the country back on track. And I could tell. when you have people making threats like that, it's difficult to make that decision. But we are going to get there. I am fine doing this. We're in day two. It's okay. The government isn't spending um, money sending it to Ukraine, so the American taxpayers are certainly winning. There's a, um, politically, but, you know, Congresswoman, this, you agree. And I agree on most things. We don't disagree on many yes, things. Yes, we do, Sean. And and Correct. I I do have respect and for you. And I believe that I history will show however, that I'm on the right side of this, Sean. How, 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 well, you you can believe you're in your position, but I'm using your words. You said to President Trump, you said we're well, very clear. I did. He doesn't have 218, so you need to ask him to withdraw. If by Friday you and your group of 20 don't have a name with 30 votes, is it time for you to withdraw? And if not, why do you support a double standard? Last question. Kevin McCarthy does not have 218 votes. Kevin McCarthy and you will have, not and be you speaker. And you have 20. I, Kevin I McCarthy asked you a very specific question. If by Listen, Friday when we, when we you get don't this have right, 30. I will not, Sean. I will not withdraw. Our You're asks not. were were not petty of Kevin McCarthy. They were not self-serving. We simply were asking for commitments on what the American people want to see. They want to see a vote on term limits, a vote on the Texas border plan to secure the southern border. You, and for crying out loud, respect, Sean, we asked for a vote on a budget that actually balances. Imagine. Imagine a Congress that stops so spending you money only that have we don't 30 have. People we are going to get this you. right, and we are going to get the right speaker, Sean. If you only have 30, to be clear, you will not withdraw. 30 is going to be a beautiful number to But you're to telling reach. Kevin McCarthy. Dude, she's so, this is so funny. Like, oh, I love this man. I love it. I'm sorry. I love it. They're like the most annoying shitheads. You know what I mean? They are the most annoying pieces of shit. And now they have like a little bit of fucking power uh, and they're getting a taste of it too. They're getting a taste of like flexing it. Oh, you can't stop them. Oh, it's awesome. What an incredible way to start the year. Even though fucking Twitch is not allowing me to do my job adequately. Holy fuck. It's so annoying. But McCarthy and the, and the 203 people that support him to withdraw because they don't have 218. That's what you're saying. Look, it's obvious by tonight's motion, motion to adjourn that Kevin McCarthy and his supporters are already getting you, voter fatigue. And I, I, I'm, I asked I'm you here a simple it. question, Congresswoman. I, I, you know, I feel like I'm getting a, a liberal. I'm not going an to answer support Kevin liberal. McCarthy, Sean. Okay, so even if you only have 30 votes, Kevin McCarthy, you will not abide by what you told President standing, Trump to which abide I don't by. I, I got will it. Be, I feel like we've made progress. Not Look, I love President Trump. You're not going to turn me on him. You're not going to pit him against me. Not trying to pit him you. against you. President That's Trump. what you said to and him. I am standing. Yeah, it was kind of ballsy that Lobo, who like basically, basically is, uh, you know, anything, an entity, a known entity is a consequence of Donald Trump. Like Trump made her, you know what I mean? Turning back on Trump this way, kind of fucked up. A lot of fake friends out there, man. Matt Gates did it too. 
Matt Gates fucking did that shit too. It's messed up, dude. This makes me wonder, is every person in our district also that stupid? I think there's a lot of stupid people. Langium, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Um, there's a lot of stupid people in our district, but they're not so stupid because like clearly they they almost uh they almost, you know, unseated her. So it can't be that bad. 20 newer 20 never kevers, 40 faces, yeah. I have You're seen the, one the that broken said it to trust. Him. I have seen the lack of accountability. Well, we are we are getting phone calls saying that we need to stop this. Kevin does All not right. have the votes for I speaker. Got it. Period. Thank we need you. to find a consensus candidate, get this right, and get our country back on track. Thanks so much, Sean. Ay, yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, the drama. Oh, I live for it. I'm sorry. Then we.